I think it's a good time to start. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the third game between BBS Kuwait and AS Moscow. We're finally ready to start the game. Both teams have been able to connect. We're just waiting for the final preparations. Um, some of the students from the Kuwait team are now troubleshooting their outdated clients. So we're just waiting for a couple more players and we will be good to start. So in the meantime, I would like to show you what is happening in the game. Uh, we have both teams are in the, uh, both teams are actually ready. So this is what it actually looks like. So we have BBS on the red side and we have uh, AS team on the blue side. This is going to be the final game uh, between these two schools. Uh, BBS, the red team, won the first game. Sorry, the second game. Uh, AS won the first game and this game is going to be a tiebreaker. We're just waiting for the final confirmation to, to begin the game. Um, and then while we are waiting, I see we have quite a lot of people in the um, joining us watching live. So make sure that uh, your comments are appropriate. We're all friendly. Otherwise, I will have to um, mute you or kick you out of the chat. So make sure that we all <clears throat> make sure that we all uh, behave ourselves when we watch the live stream and when we comment. So it looks like we have five players on either side. But I'm still... Okay, so both teams are ready. We're good to start, actually. So both teams are um, here. We have confirmation from the BBS team. We have a confirmation from the uh, red team as well. Um, so we're good to start. Um, let me just do one thing. And just to clear the view a little bit. Um, sorry about that. I should have done that a long time ago. Um, okay. I think we are, we are good to start now. All right. So let's start the game and see where it'll take us. Okay, so the game has started and we will be in the game in 20 seconds. We have quite a lot of people, our students joining us today. And now the game has started 20 seconds for the game. Um, yeah, wonderful. Um, third game between two schools. BBS is on the blue side here and AS are, sorry, BBS is on the red side and BBS is on the blue side. Uh, both teams have practiced really hard, uh, to win this tiebreaker and we can see it right away. Both teams lose no time and trying to rush for the attack, uh, at once. A little scrimmage is happening in the center of the field where, uh, we can see an, a little bit unsuccessful, unsuccessful attack led by the AS team. Uh, now their team, their team members are at the respawn point. It looks like the BBS team uh, also has a couple of teams players staying back at their base and a couple of players are uh, trying to penetrate the AS team's base. And we can see one of the players actually has successfully um, um, got to the base and he's one versus four. So it's going to be really tough for, uh, for Suleiman, um, to, um, to get the flag. And let me introduce, actually, let me talk a little bit about the, uh, AS team today. Uh, student number two is Enzo. Uh, student number three is Gordon. Student four is Mart. Student five is Ian. Student six is Jack and student seven is team. Student eight is Max. Um, and student 10 is George. Um, so we don't have actual nicknames, but I'll be trying to refer to student four here is uh, student Mart. So Mart is trying to uh, get to the, and then one of the <clears throat> BBS students is, is taken down. Suleiman um, is known to have a very quick uh, hit rate. So in the previous game, 
previously in the previous game he has been able to take down quite a lot of people now we see martis going down by the bow uh, from suleiman student three is here gordon uh, is trying a bow fight versus suleiman misses an arrow and then guts the second one and now suleiman is shot good job uh gordon uh, let's see what is happening with the pillagers outpost seems like nobody is oh actually no we have an air student trying to capture the pillagers outpost student eight uh this is max max is trying to take down the pillagers outpost but i think he missed someone um all right right here the pillagers outpost has enemy um npc and to be able to get the reward a student needs to be able to take down all pillagers and all vindicators and it looks like max is trying to get and now the Pillagers outpost is defeated and the loot is here. So let's quickly peek inside. So the student gets the iron sword, a golden apple, golden helmet, and some other things. So good job for the AS team. They've designated one player uh, to capture um, Pillagers outpost and Max has been rewarded uh, with some really lucrative loot. So I wonder what the AS team is going to do with the loot. In the meantime, uh, student three and four, this is Gordon and Mart, are mm, shot by the arrow with by the bbs team we have two teams two players um leveraging an attack from the right hand side of the base uh, student three has found a little niche here uh, but then fell down and then suleiman from the bbs team hit the hard hit the ground <laughs> really hard and died unfortunately so in the meantime um as team has set up a quite easy defense on their side uh, we can see a spider web going around the flag um i can see a comment in the chat asking where are the other two games the other two games are if you look at the actually uh, i should paste the link uh, to the previous two games uh, in the chat as well. Um. Okay. I can actually should tag myself as a spectator as well. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just adding a tag uh, so that I become invisible and I don't reveal some of the strategies of the teams. Um, just checking the chat really quickly. Uh, so someone asked for the link to the second game. And right here. So this is the link to the first and second game. Someone asked it in the chat. All right. So in the meantime, um, the AS team has set up the base of the uh, BBS team on fire. Um, so what we can see here is apparently the <laughs> so Suleiman got a cut, cut, cut a fire. And so his health is going down. I wonder how, what he's going to do with this because, oh yeah, he stopped the fire, but then he cut it again. Um, so this is one of the strategies that the AS team has been able to execute during the practice round where they managed to uh, set the, uh, the, the base on fire. So right now uh, we can see some of the, um, some of the, some of the players actually are catch fire and there's really little you can do um, to stop the fire. Um, and the BBS team has to be extra careful um, while getting The, uh, the actually the, the whole base underneath the the whole base underneath the so what happened there Okay, so it looks like the issue has been solved now. The blue team, the blue team, uh, so the red team now has that player who couldn't connect. And in the meantime, 
our blue team, the S team, has captured the flag. And I wonder, oh, the flag is right here. So student three, um, student three is Gordon. So Gordon has captured the flag and brought it back to the base. Um, so it looks like the BBS team are uh, literally got, uh, um, was caught um, off guard with the uh, fire strategy by the AS team. But, but this is the strategy I was there in the practice round where AS team has actually practicing, practice setting the enemy's team on fire. That That's one of the reasons one of the players went for the pillager's outpost because to set up the fire, you need some iron. And this is what Max was able to get from the pillager's outpost. And the what we see here is that the pillager's outpost uh, has been uh, reset. So the pillagers are here back in the game. Uh, looks like none of the teams actually going for the pillage outpost. Lots of our arrow fight is happening in the middle of the base. A student three is here wearing the golden helmet, which increases uh, their armor. So three on one on Baja, uh, the S student, and now both teams have fallen down. And we can see a coordinated attack by the our S crew. Uh, the arrow fight that begin with a arrow fight here, and we can see we still the remainder of the fire still on. Student four has been able to get to the base and student four is Mart. So Mart is carrying the, the red flag and you can see little particles here and we can see the loot, someone has fallen down here. We can see two diamonds are lying around. So I wonder why no one is picking up the diamonds. This will actually be able, this will enable a player, a player to craft an, a diamond sword. But I wonder why no one is actually paying attention to the diamonds. Um, so this, this is a really lucrative laying down right here on the base, but looks like no one is paying attention. Blue team has been able to get another flag. And look at this interesting strategy here. Uh, so the S team has put up some defense up uh, like a protective wall right here so that no one has, uh, no one can uh, jump from this tree. Um, so it looks like the strategy f uh, is working for the S team. Uh, we can see Mart is carrying a flag and we can see a reinforcement uh, from the from the uh, AS team, two on three, Baja is going down, um, student 23 is here, um, he's been able to reclaim one player, the two diamonds are still up for grabs, I can't believe it, uh, the two diamonds are here, so whether or not Mart uh, will realize that he just got two diamonds, so a red team captures the flag, finally BBS has been able to reclaim and Suleiman is carrying the flag, he's got a golden helmet reclaimed from one of the BBS uh, AS players, so there are a lot of scrimmages happening here and Suleiman decides, decides not to engage with uh, student Fort Mart as he decides and he is taken down by, by Mart, good job Mart taking down Suleiman with an arrow and then reclaiming the flag, Suleiman was carrying the flag and now um, he's been shot down with a with bow and now the flag has been reclaimed good job saving the team so it's also important not just to capture the flag but also um so i wonder oh uh, someone is here so some of the you can see this weird block here this is just uh, one of the um one of the spectators one of the uh, esport coaches are um, much like myself they're in a spectator mode that's why we can see this weird block so don't be surprised by this block so let me quickly check the Okay. Um, hey, Mark, come over here. Come here. Yeah. So my son is here. So don't <laughs> come over here. Yeah. Yeah. This is a little streamer right here. So don't mess up the stream. He. <laughs> okay. So let's see what is happening. Um. So AS team is leading uh, three to zero with about 10 minutes remaining to the game. Our AS team uh, looks pretty solid. They have one player staying back and I think it's, um, I'm gonna take a guess that this Ian, um, he's normally a, a defend player from the AS team. He just stays back and, and solely protects the flag. And it looks like the strategy works so far. So none of the fl flags from the, um, has been captured by the BBS our team. Um, student three, uh, let me just quickly check my, um, student three, this is Gordon. Um, the first or the second flag has been captured by Gordon as well. Now Gordon is uh, taking the flag 
back to the base and it's going to be four to zero in favor of S team so we can see some good strategy um, and good coordination as well in the meantime um so and this is the problem with the strategy with the fire strategy once the base is is gone once the the wooden structure is gone when players respawn they have to actually jump from the tower and then lose portion of their health which is quite unfortunate for the players who they have to regenerate their health but it's good that um the as team has been able to burn down the base and now um, it's quite exposed to the invasion uh, nevertheless the base has the bbs strategy or their defense has they have some cobblestone they have spider webs it's well protected uh, but nevertheless as team was able to get four flags so let's see what's happening here. Some trading. I can see that Suleiman and Baha has made has uh, done some trade. So they have an iron sword, actually. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned about the Suleiman from the BBS team carrying the iron sword. He's a very skilled PvP player, and with the iron sword, he is a real threat to the team. So I wonder what uh, how the AS team will be able to respond, knowing the skill set of this player. It looks like um, Student Eight uh, Max is trying to PvP. Uh, Baja and Baja is taking down the the, <laughs> the golden helmet saves uh, Max from taking lots of damage. Uh, so let's see what is happening here. Um, I wonder who is this is here. Um, uh, let me do this. Yeah, this is better. All right, uh, so I was trying to resolve some technical problems there. All right, so what we see here is uh, another player, the student six, this is Jack. Uh, Jack has got an enchanted, um, well, he had an enchanted uh, axe, and now Baja is, is, uh, has been able to reclaim, um, and he is trying to, I'm not really sure what he's trying to do. I thought he was trying to recapture the Peter just outpost, but it's, it's, it's not what he's doing. In the meantime, we can see um, student three. This is Gordon. Um, I th Gordon, I think, is uh, um, as team captains for Minecraft, and that he just fell to the ground really hard. Um, and this is what happens when players jump from full play from very to from very high places. So um, I wonder what VBS has in mind. Um, they only have about five minutes remaining, and the score is still four to zero. Uh, let's see what is happening uh, with the air's base. It looks like it's well protected with one player sneaking around. He's been spotted uh, by Enzo, a student too. Um, so I wonder whether or not the stealth mode will pay off. And actually, I lost sight of this player. Um, so I see all most of the AS players are actually sitting down uh, at their base. And now student 23 has been able to capture the flag and he's now on the run. Um, he's carrying the flag, but then the base has been left open. Um, student 6, uh, Jack, is right behind him, and he's taking some serious damage. The door is open, so student 23 should be able to get to the base um, and capture the flag. And the flag has been reclaimed by Jack. Well done, Jack. He's, not only he's been able to reclaim the flag, he's also captured the flag, and now he is on the way back to the base so this is a really good play by a player jack from the as team are uh, he not only he mm, he took down the player who was carrying the flag he also are uh, captured the flag for his team and it's five to zero for as team i wonder what pillager is doing here this is quite unprecedented that the pillagers just spawned <laughs> um, another actually extra protection for the flag I would leave him here if I were the AS team I would probably leave um, uh, so I wonder what Tarek is doing
So I'll let something in the chat. Um, Kentaro plan will be his team. Um, oh, the pillager's outpost has been defeated one more time. Another um, student eight. Um, Max has defeated pillager's outpost one more time. So I wonder what he got this time. I didn't get time um, to um, to see what's there. Uh, must be something good. All right, five to zero. <laughs> now look what happened here. The uh, S or BBS has set up the fire on uh, on the S uh, base uh, as well. So now both teams are both bases are on fire, and it's 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 a legit strategy. There's nothing in the rules that says the player that players cannot um, set their bases on fire. This is uh, Max player eight. Uh, he's been able to get some potion from the pillager's outpost. That's why. Um, he has got this particle, so his stats has been improved. That's why he's been able to uh, take down a person from another team. And, and this is one of the things you get from the pillage outpost. You, you, th it does take some effort to take or uh, to capture, but then you get some really good loot from from it. Uh, Tarek is here. He's in a spectator mode. I think he got disconnected, and then unfortunately he was not able to uh, join his team. Um, Again, uh, this is unfortunately one of the things that uh, we are not able to fix yet. If the player is disconnected, then it's really hard for them to uh, move back to their team. <clears throat> I think we only have about a couple of minutes remaining. Um, okay. Tarek, if you hear me, I'm sorry, but I was a little bit confused about what the status of the game. So, sorry about that. I may do spectator because I thought you are a spectator, so you're flying around. Um, anyways, the blue team scores another point. The red team rescues his flag, and the blue team captures the flag one more time. Um, good play. Um, we see uh, some very, very, very uh, sneak play by i don't see the nickname but apparently he just got unnoticed um student three well done uh gordon a very smart play uh he just outplayed one of the uh bbs players student 12 he got um out of the base unnoticed um well a major team fight is happening at the footstep And the blue team wins the round. Uh, GG for the blue team, for the AS team. Um, so let's try to remain friendly to our our teammates, to our um, the game. The game finished with score six to zero for the AS team. Well done, everybody. Uh, well played. Uh, that was our third game. Um, that was the third game, and I would like to hear something from both teams. We still have time, so um, following our tradition, I'll join both teams and have a little chat with them, um, hear their thoughts around the game, hear what they uh, thought about the game, how the game went, uh, what went well, what was the unexpected things. We'll probably hear some um, issues about disconnecting, uh, but that's this is normal. This could happen to everyone. Um, so I will uh, join the BBS team. I'll just ask for... Um, permission to join the BBS team uh, to join their Discord and then I'll join AS team as well uh, to hear what they have in mind, what they have to say about this match. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for those of you who are in the chat uh, writing GG. This is exactly what we would like to see uh, from the chat uh, kind of interaction. We would like to see a positive communication from the spectators. All right, so I am about to join the BBS team. So, um, oh wow, they have quite a lot of people. So let me just stop the game for now. We'll stop hosting and join uh, the BBS team and their Discord channel. Uh, one second, and I'll be with them in a second. Okay. Um, hello, BBS team. How are you today? Hello, Mr. Hello. 
Okay, sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> well, first of all, uh, thank you for being with us today. Uh, how are you today, BBS team? So let's speak one person at a time. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Orgad. Okay, we wonderful. I feel that you could burn the um the wooden base. So that came as a surprise. So whenever we spawned, we would have like a four or five heart disadvantage against them. Yeah, yeah. And and listen, this is this is was it was actually a a, a very uh well prepared strategy by the AS team. They practiced this during our one of the uh, one, during one of our practice session and probably they will talk a little bit about this when I join them but yeah so I'm, I'm I was I was happy to see it it worked out for them and as uh, this is something that you can think about how would you counter that uh, in your practice sessions but thank you for pointing this out uh Suleiman um Atarik, I apologize I know you can hear me now but I apologize for the disconnecting issues and I was a little bit confused about whether you're a spectator or a field player um all right, so do you... Um, have a question. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, why is the game tick speed so fast? Like, the moment they set one thing on fire, the whole thing just instantly lit up. It shouldn't be like that. And this is something we'll uh, fix in the future. This is the first time it happened... Well, the second time. This is the first time it happens during the official game. Uh, but this is something we will... Uh, if you can, uh, Silman, if you can uh, send me a, a direct message, show me how to... Um, change that then i will definitely okay yes tari go ahead um we won't be playing on our servers because um i'm, I'm asking because um when because you host hosted the game so we're, we like experience lag because um there's like you're at, you're in russia and we're at, at kuwait so we lag and if Fatima posts it, um, we're not gonna lag and because they get like they get better internet because you're hosting it and you're they're, they're in Russia and you're in Russia. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Fatima hosts it, we're gonna get better internet. So I thought we were gonna play on our servers, but um, yeah, and this is a good point, Tarek. Fatima out of the country. Um. <laughs> so yeah, maybe next time we can, we, maybe next time we can experiment and actually uh, let you host your server, and then we will be uh, sort of like. Sorry, Tar, what did you say? And we're only gonna be playing one match. I didn't even get to play them. Yeah, we thought it was a best of three. Well, we kind of we we played we played two games last time, and we played one game like a you know, tiebreaker today. Uh, listen, I, I'll touch base with AS team if they're if they have time for one more game. But this will be off the record game because this was the I wouldn't say official, but that was the <laughs> yeah the tiebreaker game. Uh, we can play one more uh, if you have time. Uh, so uh, Fatma, if you can maybe chat with your team around having just one more, just a you know simple game while I'll talk to the AS team uh, and ask them as well. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Well, I'm gonna leave this our. Uh, Chat. I, I mean, sorry, Javgin. Um, and if we win the other game, will you play another one to just announce the winners? No, no, well, this will be best of five then. No, the, the, the other game will be, it's still a friendly match. Uh, once we, what we're doing right now, we're getting ready for the official championship and we're just getting some practice hours to see, you know, how things are, um, practice playing. So this is still a friendly match, but the AS team won the tiebreaker game. Uh, the other game that will, if we do play one more game, this will be off the record play just between two teams. Okay. All right. So I'll let you discuss whether you have time to play one more uh, game and then I'll join our AS crew now. Okay. Wait, mister, before you go, uh, are there still people accusing me of auto flicking? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Someone, thanks for clarifying that. All right. I'll leave you now and join AS team. I heard that. Um, Hello, S team. Can you hear me? Hi. All right. Well, uh, good job for good job for the win of the tiebreaker. This is a little applause for your uh, wonderful strategy, very well executed. So, thank you. Thank you. yeah, and uh, I was happy to see how you were able to stick to the strategy that you designed during the practice round. You went by the book. I saw Max going for the pillagers outpost. So, Max, maybe you can talk a little bit about what went through your head when you were. Do, doing the pillagers old post all by yourself all right so well 
basically last week's practice we uh well i formulated Max. a pretty solid plan what what mr evgeny's talking no 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 i ask max it's no, his time now oh okay, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah no so we were uh, we i formulated a pretty solid plan after i uh well first of all in the practice round i uh got the pillager outpost because uh the other half of our team was sitting in like at the base camping i got the piece of iron and it clicked right so like flint and steel uh and then i figured out how easy it was to get at the beginning of the game so we made this uh we made a plan up that right off the bat of the round uh, right off the beginning um we'd have one person run to the pillager outpost and get iron as fast as we could to let the whole to light the whole thing on fire and open up their defenses and get the uh, flag a lot easier, which is what we did during the game. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. And uh, you saw the reaction from the from the, from the uh, BBS team. They were completely unaware, yep. even though, even though I I I. Uh, I, without your permission, I sent a screenshot to Miss Fatma that day. You said it in fire. I said, "Listen, this look at what my team were able to do," and she was like, "Wow, this is great!" And now you <laughs> you did it during the game. Uh, yeah, good. And, yes, George. And I also wanted to point out that we experienced no lag and uh, no. Uh, yeah. What do you mean no lag? Yeah, and and I listen. Did, I no, we, we, did, we, did, we did have a lot of lag. Like, yeah, we also not from the fire, though. Not directly not, from not, the fire. No, 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 no. Fire. Not from the fire, I would have, like, some, um, uh, some parts where, like, uh, one person was teleported. And the tick speed was also okay, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that. Okay. And we want to say it was a good game with BBS. Yeah. And thank you for having a friendly match with us. Yeah. All right. So hopefully BBS can hear that through the through the um, uh, live stream. And also, what, what when I was chatting with them, they ask if you guys want to play another game. Off the records, it's not. A fr it's just a match. Just one, of, like winner takes all, so to say. Will you be able to play uh, one, or will you call it a night for today? We'll have to decide at a later time. Yeah, we will yeah. need a discussion right now. Uh, we might we'll discuss it at practice but we'll see no he's talking about like, right, right now, now. If want. yeah if, if you yeah, want to play another yeah. match now oh right now it might be hard to decide yeah it is very hard to decide i think later would be better yeah. uh because now i guess if we did it then they would know our strats and we would know yeah. 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 we would also, also have to do like and we need like, 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 time to plan like, and some plans. of us have to go right now okay but yeah i, I yeah. don't want to play another one all right, yeah. fair enough. We just agreed. We we later we could do a winner takes all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, because now they know our strat. We'll come up with new ones. No, uh, well, Mr. Evgeny, like, was this part of the tournament? This uh, was the final game. It was the final game. We won. Yeah, we won. We won. Like, we That's why I don't want to play another one. <laughs> oh, okay. There's no yeah. win or lose. Calm There's down. no win or lose. Yeah, correct. And it's it's not it's not a tournament yet. Uh, the tournament will be later. Right now, what is happening? Myself and other teachers and esport coaches discussing the schedule for the upcoming tournament. There was just a friendly match between two schools, best of three, and. Uh, you guys have won this series with two to one. So thank you uh, for uh, your um, positive uh, attitude to the other team as well. Thank you for the strategy and being here today. Uh, thank you, Mr. Long, uh, for being uh, with us as well today. Uh, do you have anything to say to the team and the uh, our viewers today? Yeah, they were so prepared this time around. They had their strategy on lockdown. They knew exactly what they were going to do, and it, the results speak for themselves. 7-0, 7-0, 7-0. It was 5-0 when the game ended. Not 7-0, man. Uh, no, it was 6 when the game ended. Yeah, the game six ended 6. Ended, yeah. six. Okay. Mr. Evgeny, yeah. was this part of the uh, actual tournament or just no, like a friendly match? No, it the, friendly match. just a friendly match. The actual tournament is actually, we, we will start, I'll explain later, but basically it, it's, a, it's a playoff right off the bat. So there's a bracket, and then uh, it's best of three. We play three matches, and then if you win, you pers you um, succeed to the next round. If you lose, you just kicked out. That was just so a, a game. It's basically like this, winners, but yes. with more kicking out and more um, people. To Correct. That's right. If this were if this were a real tournament that you would so BBS and AS team would play, and then the other two teams will play, and then the winners will play versus each other, and then from the different bracket the other two teams will play versus each other so it's like a playoff 
break it, but yeah. we're, we're just formulating this break it now. This was not part of it. It's just a friendly match because it's a good practice for you and against another team. And I know BBS has um, new players as well, so it's a good chance for them, a good opportunity for them to play versus another school as well. All right. Well, thank you. Um, thank you all for being here today. We'll end the live stream now and we will have a practice after the fall break uh, on Thursday and probably we will meet with the leadership team, the AIS Esports leadership team on Monday as well after the fall break. Okay. Okay, GG's BBS. Thank you. Good game, guys. Good game, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 I'll end the live stream now. Bye. Thanks Bye. all. Bye. <laughs> See you later. <clears throat> a wonderful evening today. Good game. Uh, we've seen some uh, innovative strategy by AS team. So hopefully uh, now both teams actually need to think about how to counter another our teams uh, play with fire. And hopefully, and hopefully maybe the pillagers outpost will become a contested area now. Now that AS team has been able to show what you can actually do when you capture the pillagers outpost, now probably both teams will need to think about twice how to not only protect their own base, but also prevent other team from capturing pillagers outpost. I want to say thank you for joining us today for the match. Thank you for positive chat messages, GG, for other teams. Thank you all. And I will see you next time for another Capture the Flag esports event. And now it's time to take a break. Thank you and see you next time.